Okay, so hello everyone. Today let's talk about engine oil additives. I'm sure most of you have seen all those commercials they make and claims that if you're going to use their product, it's going to stop your vehicle from producing a lot of smoke. So I will try to show you how they accomplish doing that, okay? Okay, so now I'm going to add my very special oil additive. Okay, so that's all it, ne it needs. And then we're going to start our engine. And then let's see our result. Now that looks very promising and convincing and it might lead you to buy that product believing that it will solve your smoke belching problem but it won't if you want to know how i accomplished doing that is that i merely adjusted this fuel enrichment screw as well as this idle screw i'm going to post a link of that somewhere here as to how that is done okay why i do believe oil engine additives does not work is that we need to understand engine tolerances inside your engine okay if your engine is producing a lot of black smoke and that it's burning engine oil you cannot correct that by simply just adjusting this fuel enrichment screw as well as this idle screw then most probably your engines got a lot of excessive blow by and i will make a video of that uh, as well next time you see the tolerances required by your engine in, the, in that in my demonstration it was a 45.6 engine when it comes to cylinder wall to piston clearance is only 0.02 to 0.04 mm if it's without a turbocharger and 0.04 to 0.06 mm if it's with a turbocharger now that is cylinder wall clearance to piston okay now if you want to have an idea of how thin that is Take into consideration that the average thickness of a human hair is 0.10 mm and this is only 0.02 now that's how thin it is okay so to illustrate further i have this cylinder sleeve right here as well as this piston these are all worn out now this is what i was talking to you about cylinder wall okay this is the cylinder wall and this is your piston you are you are supposed to measure this on this skirt right here okay this side only not on this but only on this side now cylinder wall to piston clearance is the clearance between this gap right here okay now the clearance that is the engine is asking for is only 0.02 to 0.04 mm if your engine is beyond that clearance then your engine is already considered as worn out now to some extent I will do say to some extent those oil engine additives might work say for example if the tolerances required by your engine is 0.02 to 0.04 mm and that due to wear and tear the clearances become 0.06 mm and maybe adding oil additive engine oil additive might solve that problem because if there's one thing that I've noticed I dare you to do the same if there's one thing that I've noticed with all engine oil additives that i have encountered is that they are all very thick and vic viscous okay so when you introduce that engine oil additive inside your engine that viscosity is going to seal the gap or clearance in between these two but if however if your the clear clearances inside your engine is already extremely worn out then adding engine oil additives uh, is not going to help you and the reason why I can say that is that I've experienced that I've done that and nothing really worked in fact uh, I will dare say those ceramic type engine oil additives even exacerbated the condition of my engine eventually I had to perform an engine rebuild and that's the only way to fix the problem I will dare say that to some extent engine oil additives might work if your engine is still not badly worn out however if it is then uh, using I mean adding engine oil additives is only wishful thinking 
So anyway, I do believe that's it. Before I end this video, I would just like to say by no means do I intend to insult or offend any of these products. As far as I'm concerned, on this video, I did not make mention of any product concerned. If you don't want to believe me, it's up to you. If you want to believe them and try, the, uh, try those products out, it's up to you as well. Okay? But as far as I'm concerned, based from my experience, based from what I've known, none of them really did work. So ultimately, I still ended up having to have this uh, engine rebuilt. Because like I've said, if your engine is worn out, if the tolerances within your engine is already out of specs, then no amount of oil additive is going to help that, okay? It's not as if those engine oil or that engine oil additive is going to magically cure, fix, and repair those worn out clearances. That's not going to happen. So anyway, like I've said, if you want to believe me, that's up to you. If you don't, then that's, that's up to you as well, okay? So thank you for watching.